our main call remains on the Biden administration to drop the charges, close this case, and allow for Assange's release without further delay. We're here from Reporters Without Borders outside the UK High Court in London for the two-day Day X hearing, which represents the beginning of the end of the extradition proceedings against WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. If this court rejects the grounds of his appeal, the only further recourse that Julian Assange will have will be with the European Court of Human Rights in Strasbourg. If any grounds are accepted, however, we could see further hearings in the UK. While we hope that this court will deliver some form of justice this week, we remind the world that actually this case is political. The power lies with the U.S. government to bring this to a close at any time. Our main call remains on the Biden administration to drop the charges, close this case, and allow for Assange's release without further delay. In the meantime, while we're here today, Julian Assange is sitting in a high-security U.K. prison some miles from where we are now, where his mental health and physical health remain at risk, but his situation would be far exacerbated in conditions of extradition, which he may not survive. We call again for the release of Julian Assange, for journalism, for press freedom, and for all of our right to know.